Hey guys, uh, so we've made it to Kruger National Park. We actually can't believe we've made it, hey? <sighs> it's been a bloody long drive from just yeah. uh, near Cape Town. It's taken us a good probably four or five days to get here. Uh, not because we couldn't have done it any faster, we just uh, decided to take it a bit slow because we were a bit unwell. Anyway, we're here at Kruger, which is the, one of the main points of us coming to South Africa. So we're pretty, we're pretty stoked, we're pretty excited. Um, we're going to spend 10 days driving through the Kruger, and that sounds like a lot of time, but the place is massive. I don't know how big it is. We'll give you some stats later. But uh, it's the size of a small European yeah, country. Yeah. So. so, and obviously you can't go too fast, otherwise you'll miss all the animals. So, we're going to take a pretty cruisy. We're going to stay in a variety of accommodation along the way, from just camping to some luxury tented camp stuff. So. We'll, uh, we'll show you a taste huts. of yeah, and some huts. So we'll show you a taste of Kruger the way we've booked it. Um, we haven't been here for probably 20 years. So last time we came, we were youngsters, and we just stayed for a couple of nights in one of these little rondavels. We'll show you those as well. That, and that was at Skakuza. That was at Skakuza. So we've in never the south. yeah. So we never really travelled north to south like this. Uh, so we're pretty excited, we don't really know what to expect, but we're hoping we see lots of animals and uh, we hope to have a bloody great time. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you along the way. Okay. Okay, so when you enter uh, any of the gates at the Kruger Park, you need to pay your camp fee. Um, so we'll just do that. That's the um, conservation fee. Thank you. See Thank you, later. you. All right, we're in. We're in. How cool is that? This is the start of our Kruger adventure. Oh, that's so exciting. But you've got to pay for obviously accommodation, but also you have to pay uh, like uh, a conservancy fee to look after the place. So that's a per, per, per person per night thing. Uh, 2.30 rand for the first two nights because we're staying in a bit of a luxury tented kind of place. But otherwise, um, it is yes. 460 rand or 430 yeah. rand per person, per, per, person night. per night. Uh, so, yeah, so we need to factor that in. It's about a thousand rand per night. Uh, yes, and if you stay a lot longer, then you can get a wild card. Yeah, so that makes it a bit more worth it. It's like a, a parks pass kind of thing, but it's not going to yeah. work out for us. So, anyway. Here we are, we're in uh, Kruger, hoping to see some animals, so who knows what's around the corner. What's going on? <laughs> we're in Cape Town. That's pretty exciting. Oh my god, and we're just about to be picked up by someone pretty important. Yeah, so uh, uh, they might even pick us up in a special vehicle. We'll yeah. find out, hey? Yeah. Anyway, we're back in Cape Town, that's pretty bloody exciting. Haven't been to, haven't been to Africa since 2019, we're pretty pumped. Yes. And uh, we're here for six weeks, so uh, yeah, bring on the good times. Oh, this is a cool vehicle. <laughs> Very cool. Well, what have we here? <laughs> I suspect you, you imagined I might have to do a bit of filming. Just touch it to make sure it's, it's not a, a dream. <laughs> wow, it looks amazing. It looks so good. It's so big, it hey? It can't be all your luggage. Hey? It can't be all your luggage. No, no. <laughs> That's a good car. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks amazing. so luxurious to me. Yeah, it's nice. It looks amazing. All right, so Marinus, uh, you're going to tell us a few things about this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a nice bit, though. So who, who owns this vehicle? Yeah, the Fritzes. <laughs> the Fritzes. Hey, yeah. what do you reckon? Yeah, it looks bloody amazing. This, um, is, this is yours and mine. I know, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, it is, it's isn't so it? Cool. It looks so great. Oh my God, it's, it's in such good condition. It looks so big to me. Oh, oh my goodness. This doesn't look like a truck. This looks like a luxury vehicle to me. Yeah, yeah. The vlog there. Yeah. And then you've got the soft oh, tank. Yeah. There as well, and then. It's got front rear diff locks. Hmm. That's all South African models got it. Oh wow! I didn't realize that. So even on our 79 series, we, we don't get limited slips or whatever at all. 
<laughs> oh my god, here we go! Alright, we are in our Africa truck. Yes, we've just come off a really long flight actually, um, all the way from Europe, from Budapest through to uh, Dubai. A bit tired, but we're okay. Tired, we're not too yeah, bad. looking yeah. forward to um, checking into our hotel very soon. Sounds nicely, eh? Happy? Yeah. Does it feel? Feels, feels, feels good. really nice to drive. Feels yeah. luxurious, <laughs> more than the Troopy. <laughs> it's quieter than the Troopy. Quieter. It doesn't quite go as hard as the Troopy, but uh, it, it drives nice and the gearbox is good. Oh, okay guys so sometimes elephants leave subtle little clues to say that they've been around okay uh, this one's it's fairly subtle I'll show you in a second um, I'll just pull the car around to the side we're just having a little snack of biltong and some grapes but we just came across this subtle little clue I hand the camera over to Mrs. Fritz here we go that. that probably is about 30 centimeters long and about 25 across. So, great uh, big lump. Clearly, there's elephants been here, which is pretty cool. So, we're going to have to keep our eyes out. You would think in an elephant would be pretty easy to see, but um, yeah. as you can see from these bushes here, there's a lot of scrub around. It's pretty dense here, so they can be anywhere. No way. Okay, we just came around a corner. And we've got a massive herd of elephants just uh, oh, crossing the road out of nowhere. Look at the little one! So cute. Oh, oh my this god. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no so many. Way. We just arrived. We've only been in Kruger for about 10 minutes. Here we go. Just a herd of 20 elephants just casually strolling past. Okay, unbelievable. We've been in the park for what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We missed an amazing opportunity with uh, some elephants. We came around a corner and we didn't have cameras out or anything like that. And then boom, there was like the 20 elephants and then oh. it was just so cool. So it's just going to be, just going to sh just shows you that uh, when you're here, you've got to be ready to see animals anytime. We just saw a couple of beautiful kudu and uh, their babies. Their babies, are really cute. So uh, yeah, Kruger's pretty cool. You've got to and expect the unexpected. Ready. We're ready, ready, and now. Re ready to go now. So uh, we've got about six and a half k before we get to our first campsite. So we're almost there, but God knows what we're going to see in the meantime. It's pretty bloody exciting. Okay, we're just dropping the car off <clears throat> in the car park, just walking back to the reception and just spotted this little fella having a bit of a munch here. How cool is this? This is wild. There's Mrs. Fritz. How's that, hey? Hey? How many meters from the elephant? 10, 15 meters. Just, I cannot believe this. Look at this car. So cool. And then just behind you is the kudu. Right up behind that vehicle. Look at that. Oh yeah, little kudu over there. Anyway, this place is crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, oh, some buck over there. Of course, just an elephant directly opposite our tent. Hello. <laughs> Where are we? Oh my god. This is our home for the next two nights. Check you guys out, won't believe this. As soon as we arrive, elephant across the banks. There's a couple of big bucks there. Beautiful river. Yeah, this is our digs for the next couple of nights. So this place is called uh, Pafuri Tented Camp. And uh, yeah, everyone gets one of these. You want to show us inside? Yeah, it's quite a long boardwalk and uh, you get escorted back at night because this camp isn't fenced. And I must say, I got a little bit nervous and everybody gets an emergency phone in their room. Anyway, come inside. Oh, this, you have to put this lock on because the baboons get in. So we have to pay attention to that. Where's the, uh, where's the bed? Our, sleep, our beautiful room, isn't it? Yeah, pretty and then, nice, eh? Hey? Yeah. So we'll follow you around the back here. Yeah. And this gorgeous bathroom. Look at these beautiful little copper taps. Hey, this yeah, bit here, it's hey? gorgeous, yeah. So his and hers. His and hers. Yeah, and they have a, this is an indoor shower and then the outdoor shower. And the outdoor shower's through Yeah, there. and again we were told to, you have to actually lock the doors because the baboons know how to get in. And then we've got a massive Bathroom, toilet here, and a spare room. There's a spare room, is where Mrs. Fritz will so, be sleeping because she's no, naughty. No way, I'm yeah. not sleeping out the back. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, pretty bloody cool. Yeah. So we're off to, I've been invited to go for lunch. So we're going to go get some lunch now. And I don't know, maybe there's a, a safari this afternoon. Who knows? But uh, worst comes to worst, we can just sit here and uh, check out the kudu on the other side of the, on the bank. And there is a there is a pool here, and a bar, and yeah. those sorts of things. Um, I, think, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Doing a little video. <laughs> What's going on? Lunch, afternoon tea, high tea, whatever you want to call it. Just down by the river. Just hanging. Yeah, right. This one are called lapwing. Blacksmith lapwing. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening? Oh, we're going on a safari drive. Gosh, we were got woken at 5 a.m. Oh, it's a bit early. Anyway, let's go see the animals. Yeah, we had a coffee and some rusks, so now we're off.
monkeys looking at us going, who the hell is whistling? How's this for a setting? Not a bad place for a pool. Just looking out over the river. So this is Pafuri Tented Camp and uh, this is where we've been hanging out for the last day or so. Good spot over the river just to check out the animals. Just stunning. That's where we've been having lunches and dinners and our camp's just back there somewhere. All right, good morning. So we left Bavuri camp this morning. We spent two nights there. What did you think, Mrs. Fritz? Oh, first night I was a little bit terrified yep. um, because I did see a huge spider inside, but they put a big net over the bed and yeah. I felt fairly good, fairly safe under that. Yeah. And the second night was great. Yeah, so last night we had a cracker of a sleep. Oh, finally. Yeah. We spent a fair bit of time relaxing yesterday after the morning drive. Yeah. We had a bit of a swim and just took a bit of a chill day because we realised we really needed to catch up on some rest. Yeah. Uh, the Fury Camp, great place. People were lovely, the accommodation was great and uh, we would definitely go back. So Yeah, it's a completely um, relaxed, atmosphere yeah. very slow, friendly yeah, we've got, got, some, got some uh, fowl crossing the road here they're quite a beautiful color actually yeah. aren't they i have a listen to them <laughs> what a cool sound yeah they're pretty cool yeah so, um, yeah, very relaxed atmosphere, um, totally unpretentious. Yes, lovely people. And just a really comfortable stay. Its location is amazing because it's right on the river. Yeah. So you just see crocodiles floating down, buffalo. Buffalo this morning. Baboons, yeah. elephants across the river. Um, yeah, it's really nice yeah and this morning we pulled out of Pafuri and then bam there was some giraffes just on the side of the road and now we're heading towards our next camp Shingwedzi where we're going to be actually staying in the rooftop tent tonight and yes. we've got about a 90k drive so uh, yeah looking forward to seeing what we see so far yeah. uh, it's been a pretty good morning beautiful weather um, cars going well so yes. and we're driving south we just realized how bloody awesome that yeah. is because the sun's not shining in on us the yeah. whole way it's right behind us and yeah, it's, it's really comfortable so yeah, yeah really we'll show nice. you what we see during the day hopefully lots of stuff